Hey everybody, today I'm going to go over a JavaScript interview question that I got in an interview uh, pretty recently, and uh, it's about hoisting. So the interviewer asked me, you know, what is hoisting in JavaScript and how does it work? Uh, so I'm going to go over it. I have a few coding examples today. Uh, so basically, just in plain English, hoisting means that uh, when JavaScript, uh, when the JavaScript engine evaluates your code, uh, it will move declarations for variables and functions up to the top of the code uh, so that uh, if you happen to use one of those before you declared it when you wrote the code, it'll still work. Okay, but we'll, we'll go into that in examples here. So at first, we have, uh, we're console logging X, but we haven't actually declared X in our code. Uh, and it's it's going to work it's going to give output, right? It's not throwing an error, but it's going to say undefined. Okay, so why is it just undefined, right? So it's not an error, but it's saying, yes, this variable has been declared, but it hasn't been assigned yet, right? We assign it later. So that's important to keep in mind, right? It won't throw an error, but the assignment itself hasn't happened yet in the code. Well, let's check it out in terms of a function. Okay, so we can call this function foo, right? We just use foo because historically that's been an example word in JavaScript. So foo doesn't mean anything special. We could have named it anything. Okay. Uh, but foo is actually declared below where we call it, right? And foo just console logs the word hello. But when the JavaScript engine actually evaluates your code, it'll say, hey, this is a, a function declaration here. Let's hoist this, right? Pull it up to the top of the code, right? So when the code actually executes, it already knows like, hey, this, this function foo is supposed to console log hello. So when it gets called from the perspective of the JavaScript engine, it already has been declared. Okay. So that's why it still works. Now, as I mentioned earlier, and this is important, it only affects declarations, not assignments. Okay, so console log x, if we declare the variable x, it, it doesn't throw an error, but it will output undefined. And it doesn't matter where we declare that or where, where we assign that, in this case, the value of 5, if we're assigning it after the console log, then we're going to get undefined. Okay. So you can declare the variable wherever you want. It's not going to throw an error. But if you want this console log to actually output five, the console log itself needs to be after the assignment. Okay. So if we're talking about functions, it's going to work as expected. But if we're talking about variables, there may be some confusion. Right? Maybe you would expect, hey, this will error. This isn't going to work. Well, your code will still run. An error won't happen. Uh, so that can cause some confusion. Uh, but hoisting is something that's good to know to avoid errors. And it's also something that potentially could be useful uh, in that if for whatever reason you want to structure your code in a way that, that you like, you don't necessarily have to declare all your functions at the top and then use the functions. Okay. But you may run into some issues uh, if you are expecting, let's say, a variable assignment to get hoisted and it doesn't get hoisted, you're not going to get an error and you may actually introduce a bug that, that you're not realizing. Uh, so be aware of hoisting. Okay, it's, it's pretty straightforward the way it works, uh, but it can cause some confusion in terms of variable declaration and assignment. So... Hopefully that helps. If you get this question uh, in an interview, then you'll be prepared now. Let me know if any of that wasn't, uh, it wasn't straightforward enough for you. If you have any questions or anything, throw them down in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, answer your questions or uh, make another video for you. Have a great day.